My name is Rich Robin. I'm the founder and owner of Gator Pit of Texas. I'm going to walk you through this custom mobile predator that I designed for a customer here in the Houston, Texas area. Uh, in general, what you have is a 3 8 thick pipe here. You've got it eight feet long on the main chamber, two doors. You've got an insulated back firebox that's square, and you've also got an upright that's quarter inch thick steel, 30 inches wide, 30 inches deep, and three, 36 inches tall from the lower rack to the top. He's also added a 24 by 48 quarter inch thick wall charcoal grill, which is to the right of me that you see over here. We've got a stainless steel front uh, shelf that comes out uh, approximately 12 to 14 inches. I can't remember the complete specs, but it looks like it's uh, looks like it's 14 inches out. We have 14 inches on the charcoal grill as well. We got custom tires and wheels and aluminum diamond plate fenders. You going in? Don't get you in there. Do it you a little bit. You got custom wheels, chrome caps, chrome lugs, chrome stems, uh, aluminum diamond plate fenders that we custom fabbed. Uh, to mount to the sides, tandem axle, electric brakes on the front with a breakaway box uh, with an LED display to uh, display your charging, your charge, and also uh, if your battery gets low, it'll indicate that as well. When it's hooked up to your truck, it automatically charges the breakaway box for your electric brakes. That's another safety feature that Gator Pit does on all of our pits that have tandem axles. On all of our trailers with tandems, we go electric and we add that breakaway box for safety reasons. On the back side of this big old cooker, you're going to see a two-bay stainless steel sink, hot and cold water, uh, an RV type drain tank with an RV valve that drains it. You can hook a hose up to it just like you do in an RV and drain that water out at a commissary or wherever you need to drain it or want to drain it. Uh, we got gas assist in the firebox and we've got a couple of uh, 160,000 B2 burners or fires on the back side along with a large storage area well that, uh, that will give this customer easily uh, three days of cooking. Wherever he's at, if he's doing a festival, he's got enough wood to fill up in this thing that'll get him through a three-day uh, uh, festival or an event that he's catering at. <coughs> Inside here, you have got three angle-framed sliding meat racks. They're framed in one-inch angles to add extra strength. The big pit, it's deep, and it's a wide rack. Again, you're eight feet long in this two-door chamber. These slides make it easy to get that food in and out. He's also got tuning plates down there. If you're not familiar with tuning plates, what those tuning plates do is they allow you to more evenly distribute the heat throughout this full eight foot chamber and also get more heat over in this upright so that you're able to use this entire cooker to cook on and not just have the upright or vertical box as a warmer. Those tuning plates will help push that heat down there, get it over here at over 200 degrees, and now you're using this entire cooker as a cooker if you're cooking that much meat. Make your job a lot easier, uh, whoever's working this pit. We've got two gauges in each of the doors. As you can see here, we've got a gauge in the upright at the top. Uh, we've got stainless steel cool touch handles. We double them here because these doors are big. you got double stainless steel cool touch handles that lock here. All your doors lock for safety and security. You can see these pins. We don't use the rod, that long rod. Uh, the reason I don't do that is because it's inconvenient as all get out. If you got an 8 foot, 9 foot, 10, 12 foot rod, you got to go 8 foot, 9 foot, 12 foot back to get that rod out just to unlock a door. To me that's just ridiculous. Uh, we use these pins and tabs, that's all it takes to lock your door. Comes, pops off and on real easy. Uh, the same thing with the doors here on the main chamber and the firebox as well. Let's see what else we got. We got trailer skirting down here, how's that trailer frame? Uh, that's an option on most of the, the mobile pits that you see on Gator Pits website. Uh, it's a relatively inexpensive option. It just adds a nice more custom look to the trailer frame. It hides that space that's open down there between the cooker and the actual trailer frame itself. It blackens it out, hides it, shields it, makes it look real nice. Just adds that little bit more of a custom touch to your trailer. Uh, we've got the running lights on this big trailer. We'll put the running lights on it. Uh, in addition to the uh, uh, rear universal tail lights, you can add LEDs if you want all the way around. And there's a whole slew of options on LED lights. Uh, that we can do on these things. Uh, you got your door counterweights. You saw I opened that with one hand. It was very easy to open. I'll do it again. Extremely easy. Balanced well. It's real light. Look, it stays in place. It's not all the way back. That's how well we balance our cookers. Now it's back. That's an extremely balanced counterweight. Ain't a whole lot of guys out there doing this that can balance a door that well to where it just suspends and hangs in place. Uh, again, it goes back to our gated pit quality. All your end caps are buffed out, welded buffed out, uh, 
stack, bug house stacks. These are some big old six by six square tubes on there, uh, giving him a lot of exhaust, a lot of draw. You need that on these bigger cookers. Um, so we, we beefed up the stacks with bigger stacks, um, made them a little longer as well to give them a good draw. The trailer frames constructed out of quarter inch thick two by three square tubing. It's reinforced with solid plate on the front deck. And it also has a two by three tubing that runs its crossbars driver's side to passenger side. And we also run it down the middle and we gusset the front tongue area where it uh, V-shapes or toes in to the cup or jack area. You can see that on the end. And I'll do a walk around uh, with the video camera to give you a closer look of everything so that you can see the actual quality that we have going here. Uh, the, brush, the stainless is brushed. It's a brushed 304 stainless. Uh, we use the brush because it looks better than the smooth. It also helps hide some of the scratches that you're going to get on it with wear and tear over the years. Um, the grill, this is a charcoal grill, nothing fancy about it other than it's just a quality of a gator pit. you got a lower slide rack, a half, split, uh, half top rack, again a big stainless steel table. you got an adjustable slide vent here, adjustable slide vent on this side with an access door. That opens up and your charcoal grate comes out. That's down below and it's an angle frame charcoal grate. That's quarter inch thick, thick, uh, thick framed out in angles. Uh, the upright, let me show you this. Four flares on the door, flares on the inside box as well. So you got a double flange, uh, minimizes and prevents uh, any smoke or heat loss out of it. And you've got the four angle framed sliding meat racks that are standard in our uprights, uh, on most of our uprights rather. And of course those tuning plates are going to run into the upright down here so you get those temperatures up there. Those tuning plates are lockable and they are adjustable and they're removable for cleaning. There's a two inch uh, drain down here. In the upright, underneath the trailer there's a drain down there. You can often get a ball valve with it. It comes standard two inch with a cap that's threaded, removable. If you want a ball valve, which I'd recommend a ball valve on any of our pits, it's a convenience factor. And you can also hang a little can on the, on the handle of the ball valve that'll catch your drippings. <coughs> um, what else we got on this big door? And it is a big pit. Um, we've got, I guess we'll work, walk all the way around to the other side and show you that. And I'll walk you around. Okay, on this side, this is the passenger side. You've got a 26 gallon potable freshwater tank that runs off a RV or diaphragm type pump. Battery operated from a 12 volt marine RV battery, which is encased here and secured. There's a toggle switch that gives it power. Uh, again, the pump only runs when it needs water. Uh, once the pressure builds up, the pump shuts off, which means your battery's not being utilized, so you're not draining your battery unnecessarily. You have a uh, hot water heater made by Titan. Uh, you can control the temperature setting here by this knob. It also has an on and off switch and it runs off a 110 outlet. Just plug that in with an extension cord to your generator or if you have a, a power source other than uh, some off a building or something, just plug it in. Uh, you've got your gooseneck faucet. Uh, you can see the water draining here. You've got an RV drain tank down there. That's over 30 gallons worth of uh, uh, tank down there. That's more than enough to handle a 26 gallon freshwater tank. There's an RV drain valve underneath the trailer that you pull. When you pull that valve out, the water just comes out of the tank. It's easy to, to, to drain your tank. Uh, if you need to drop your nose to, to get the water flowing out of the drain tank quicker, then you can drop your tongue jack and it'll do that. It makes it quicker, a little faster. Uh, but the tank itself is designed to self-drain when you, when you lay it uh, in there. Like you see us now, it's going to drain out the drain. You got two burners over here, the 160,000 BTU burners. They have their own control valves here, independently. We put this little protective plate over there, so that way nobody puts their feet on there and uses it as a, as a spot to rest on your valves or your gas lines. Um, we got a spray nozzle here. Uh, everybody knows what that is. That's convenient for washing your pots, pans. Uh, let's see what else. We've got a propane tank holder up front that locks in place. It's got a quick connect, high pressure regular hose on it. It runs 10 PSIs, uh, more than enough uh, PSI to run your LP to your two burners and also to your gas assist firebox in the back. you got plenty of storage back here, wood, easy ups, tables, chairs, whatever you want to put back there, you can store back there. Um, what else we got? Again, nice clean looks. Um, when we mount the upright into the, to the, to the barrel of the pipe, 
You notice you don't see the butt joint or the seam. We rub that outside and inside, and then we come back on the outside, we buff it out smooth, and we sand it real smooth, and then we obviously we paint it so you don't see that seam between here and there. In fact, the seam's gonna be somewhere around right here where this butts up with that flat plate, that side wall. You don't see it. That's one of the things that we do. A lot of the other guys don't do it. They don't take the time to do it. But again, Gator Pit's known for our quality. That quality means that we're going to put that time and that effort to take a little bit longer to build your cooker so that when you get it, you have a nice looking, efficient cooker that you're going to be proud of. That's why people order Gator Pit uh, barbecue pits. Again, back to that big old open storage area. This trailer is uh, approximately five feet wide on the bed, and I believe it's 22 feet overall in length from end to end. And I'll walk around back and show you that firebox. Alright, it might be a little tough to see because it's kind of dark on this side. We've got some shade going, but we've got a lock here. It's a wing nut with a bolt. That locks this firebox, firebox door closed when you're traveling down the highway for safety reasons. Inside, you got a half inch thick door, fully insulated firebox on all the sides, except the door that accesses the firebox. That is a half inch, but all the other walls, including that back wall, are insulated. 2300 degree ceramic fiber between the two quarter inch walls. And we put these perforated holes in here to release the heat or the pressure that's in there. When you heat these things up, they get hot and that metal expands. If you don't put these perforated holes in here, that metal's gonna pop and crack the seams. We do this so we minimize any of that damage down the road, uh, especially under extreme temperatures, which when this thing's insulated, it is extremely hot. You got a heavy duty angle framed quarter inch thick fire grate. We got a gas assist burner in there. So you don't have to use lighter fluid or charcoal or any other type of, of starter to uh, get your wood going, just turn your gas on after you put your logs in, you're good to go. Stainless steel cool touch handle. We got the uh, diamond side vents, as you see there. Controls oxygen flow, airflow into the cooker, into the firebox. Gives you a good clean burning fire when you open it up. Uh, you open your stacks up and you get that good draw in there. Uh, again, half inch thick, nice and clean, insulated, 3 8 thick on the main chamber uh, pipe new pipe and uh, fully flanged rudder doors, all the good stuff that comes with Gator Pit. I'm not going to bore you with all the details of, of what, we, what we do in the construction. I think uh, most people uh, from other, my other videos know that and see that and have already been there with over 60 something videos in there uh, demonstrating our quality. I'm Gator Pitt. Give me a call, 713-896-0144. My name is Rich Robin. See what we can do for you. We custom design and build everything ourselves right here in-house, including our trailers. Go to our website at GatorPit.net or shoot me an info at info at GatorPit.net. See you.